everyone, welcome or welcome back to Kian by Design. My name is Kian and this is my DIY home and lifestyle channel. If any of that appealed to you, hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Now today's video is one that has been a long time in the making. You might remember from my apartment tour video that I didn't give you guys a look into the bedroom because it was a project under construction. And in today's video, you guys are going to see the project from start to finish. But before we get into any of the actual transformation, I've got to go over the vision that I have for this space. One thing that I definitely knew that I wanted to do was to create a green velvet headboard for this room. And with that, incorporating other warm, earthy sort of colors, oranges, golds, yellows, warm wood tones, accents of black and brass. Also, our bedroom has an east facing window, so the sun shines in every morning bright and early. So we definitely want to get a complimentary curtain to block the sun out in the morning. We'll also have sconces next to the bed over our nightstands. And of course, accessorizing with things like vases, plants, wall art. I think with all that, we have a pretty solid vision of what we want this bedroom to look like. Now comes the fun part of actually doing the transformation. So I am out back of my apartment building right now and I just prepped my workspace. I plan to stain these nightstands to match the dresser that I made. I've got the spray paint tent prepped over here because I'm actually going to be spray painting the sconces that you guys saw me made in another video. I actually want to make them two-tone just to sort of break up all the gold and add a contrast. And I think it'll add a whole other level of refinement to the sconces. So let's get to work. With the nightstand stained, I wanted to make sure that the knobs were going to match the dresser hardware, so I painted them with some gold gilding paint. All right, y'all, so the room is a bit of a mess, so forgive that, but I just brought in the new nightstands that I finished DIYing, and I think they look so good. They match the dresser really nicely. This is Sam's over here. And now we're moving on to what I'm hoping will be the focal point of this bedroom, my dream green velvet headboard. And I didn't just want a plain green upholstered headboard. I wanted to do something a little more exciting than that. And a lot of my inspiration photos featured headboards that had this vertical channel tufting. Now, headboards like these can get pretty expensive, but I think that we have found a budget-friendly DIY way to pull it off ourselves. So of course I searched the internet for different tutorials on how to make channel tufted headboards and I came across one which I will link down below where they created a channel tufted headboard using pool noodles. So that's exactly what I plan to do. I first sourced an existing headboard from Facebook Marketplace. I sourced a ton of pool noodles from Dollar Tree and I sourced some green distressed velvet fabric from West Elm. I just really like the tone of the screen. It's got a really rich olive color. It has great texture and here's how we did it. All right, so Sam and I are here and we're about to get started working on our brand new headboard. The key component of that headboard is going to be some pool noodles. We're going to have to cut the pool noodles in half down the middle so we can create the tufts. So let's get started cutting some noodles. So the cuts on the first noodle came out a little bit jagged and uneven. I tried cutting down the whole length of the noodle and it didn't go so well. Sam has proposed, however, that probably cutting the noodles to the size of the headboard first and then cutting them down the middle would give us like a shorter distance to have to cut so we could keep the line straighter. And now you can use this one as your, um, what's the word? One to measure it all against. Template? Template, there we go. What are words? Hey, Coco, that's not a bed. I oh, mean, lovely. it is, but it's not your bed. Also, please don't lick your junk on it. Sir, can you please vacate the headboard? He's like, but it's falcon squishy. You have a couch and a bed of your own. Why do you choose to sit where we're working? Like, Why? <laughs> So the noodles are all sliced in half. It was quite an ordeal, but we finally got it done. I got extra noodles just so we would have more than we would need to cover the entire surface. Now comes the interesting part where we are going to try to staple the green velvet fabric that we have onto this headboard and create the tufts. Now 
this point, we were so close to finishing this headboard when tragedy struck. Guys, I'm so devastated. We got to the end of the fabric and we only have this much space left and we have no more. So I have to order more of this fabric, but it's going to take two months to arrive. I just really wanted this to be done and now it's delaying putting our whole bedroom together. But it's beautiful what's done. It does look really good what we've gotten done so far, but I just really wanted to finish this today. So I guess I'll see you in two months with an update on this. I was pretty disappointed to have to stop right there and wait for what could possibly be months, but luckily the fabric came much earlier than expected, so we were able to get back to work. <laughs> All right, y'all, the time is finally here. My fabric arrived early. <laughs> Woo! Now Sam and I are about to get back to work on finishing this headboard so we can put it in the room. So the camera ended up cutting out while we were finishing up the headboard, but it is ready. We finished it off with these really neat pleats on the top, making sure it looked nice and even. And now I'm in our bedroom, excuse the mess. We don't claim to be perfect people. So now I am going to attach the legs to the headboard itself and put it on the bed. The headboard is on and I love how it looks. I also made sure to dress the bed um, with some of our new bedding that we got from Ikea recently. So I can bring Sam in here and show him how the headboard looks for the first time. Come on in. Ta-da. so nice. Isn't it cute? Yes. And I put the new bedding on. It looks good. Our hard work paid off. Yay. Yay! Are you happy now, baby? I am. We have a cute headboard now, and we get to sleep on it tonight. We're going to relax the rest of the night because this headboard has been a months long process, and we'll come back to do more in the room soon. So it is another day of the room transformation. Obviously the headboard is now on the bed and I love how it looks. Now it's time to add some other elements like our wall sconces. The overhead light does provide some nice lighting, but it would be nice to have the option to not just have the overhead light on all the time. Before it gets too late and it's going to disturb my neighbors, I am going to put the wall sconces up on either side of the bed. So let's put those up. The sconces are up and I think that the room looks so much better now. I love that I decided to go ahead and repaint these with a two-tone. They stand out so much more and I feel like they make so much more of a statement now and we are one step closer to having this room completed. I just got home from work. Sam is currently in the living room in a Zoom call with one of his classmates. And I've decided that I'm going to be putting up our new curtains today. One thing that I really love about this room is that we do get so much natural light, which our last place didn't get in the bedroom. What I'm not loving is waking up every morning at like seven o'clock because the sun is shining through the window. So I'm going to put up our new blackout curtains. I got this cute set at Walmart. It's like a woven coral, almost terracotta color. So before Sam finishes up with his classmate, I'm going to get started on that. And 
just like that, we have curtains. Oh, I have a cowlick. I wore a hat to work today. It's giving me a little bit of hat hair. I think the curtains look so nice. I love this color. They're a little wrinkled, so I might go through and either steam them or iron them just to get those wrinkles out. Now, I didn't realize when I bought these that these were only about five foot curtain panels. So they hit just above the bench, which I think is perfect. But normally I would be a huge proponent of hanging your curtain rod higher to draw the eye up to the ceiling. But in this case, it would have made the curtains look too small. So the lower, the better in this case. This is a nice finishing touch for this window and makes it look so much nicer. Moving on to creating some custom artwork for the space. Since this is Sam and I's first apartment without a roommate and it's just us and our dog Coco, I thought it was important to have a personal and sentimental art piece hang up in our bedroom. And during the pandemic, our very talented artist friend Tim was doing a fundraiser for one of our favorite local gay bars, creating personalized commissioned portraits of queer people as gays in space. We of course commissioned our own and we loved how they turned out. So I reached out to Tim and asked him if he could create a composite of the two so I could create a much larger print to display in our room. And Tim absolutely came through on this project. If you guys want to check out any of Tim's art or request commissions from him, I will link all of his information down below. Thank you, Tim, for creating this piece for us. It really is such a nice personal touch to our bedroom and we love looking at it when we wake up in the morning. And the print that I had made was a 24 by 36 and framing a print that large is not exactly easy to do, let alone affordable. So to frame it, I sourced a large framed print from Facebook Marketplace. I messaged the seller for the interior dimensions of the mat of this photo and it would be a perfect fit for this print. One thing I knew I wanted to change before framing this piece was to paint the frame as well as the mat. The color of the frame was sort of this like ashy wood color and the mat was sort of like a powder blue. So I took both the frame and the mat outside where I spray painted the frame black and the mat white. Once everything was dry, all we had to do was reassemble our frame, put in our print, and our custom artwork was ready to hang in our bedroom. I also created two additional art pieces to hang above our bed. I got these gold frames from Walmart on clearance for $2 a piece, and these potted plant prints were from Dollar Tree. The frames were obviously much bigger than the prints themselves, so I custom made some matting out of some Dollar Tree poster board, and it was just a really inexpensive way to make something look a little more high-end than it was. If you guys want a more detailed tutorial on that, definitely let me know down in the comments below. guys, Sam and I are about to put the finishing touches on the bedroom. We just have to put up some things on the walls that we've been meaning to put up. So first things first, we are going to be putting up this portrait by our friend Tim. I'm gonna link his Instagram and everything down below so you guys can go check out his art and show him some love. We love how this turned out and we now we get to hang it up in our bedroom and see it every day. So thank you, Tim. Uh, it really does match the curtains. It does. So let's put this puppy up. Sam's side of the bed, it was very important for him to be able to have what he calls his happiness wall, where he can display things like pictures or notes or art, just anything that makes him happy. So to do that, we're also putting up a cork board on his side of the room. To hang it, I use painter's tape on the back of the cork board to mark the hangers. We're transferring it to the wall, making sure it was level and drilling the holes so that it would be a perfect fit when we put it up. I'm also hanging these DIY orb planters I created in a previous video. They're a dupe of a set of planters that I saw at Joanne Fabrics, and in them, I am placing some hanging greenery. This will create some flow and draw the eye upward and give the room a fresh green feeling. I am also hanging a pennant where I keep my pin collection. I've never shown my pin collection before and I am very into collecting pins. If you guys would like to see a pin collection tour, definitely let me know down below. The room is really coming together. All the artwork is up, all the planters. Last thing we wanna to do to really finish it off is put down this green five by eight rug that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. We're gonna roll that out right now and then it'll be time to show off the completed room. Yay! This rug that we're rolling out is a pretty traditional looking rug. I got it off Facebook Marketplace, but I got it for the space because it had that same olive green tone in the headboard and it also pulled in some of those warmer rust tones. And we're laying this down to really ground the bed space. With all of those major projects complete, it was time for the finishing touches. Are you guys?
guys ready to see the final room reveal. I'm so excited to finally share this with you guys. It's definitely been something I've been looking forward to and planning, and we've invested a lot of work into making it a space that we feel we can call our own. So with that all being said, here is the final bedroom transformation. Guys, I cannot believe this. This bedroom transformation is finally completed. I absolutely love how everything turned out. It looks exactly how I envisioned it. This transformation has been months in the making since we first moved in, and it was well worth the wait because the results definitely do not disappoint. Down in the comments below, I would love to hear your thoughts on this room transformation. Definitely let me know. Shout out again to our friend Tim who created our Jet Sona portrait. He does take commissions, so I will make sure to link his Instagram down below. This room transformation was so much fun, and I definitely plan to do more like it, so if you enjoyed it, give this this video a thumbs up to let me know that you want to see me do more. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell to be notified every time that I upload a brand new video. You can also keep up with me on all of my social media. I am on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat. I especially post on my Instagram story all the time so you guys can see what I'm up to when I'm not uploading videos. You can find all of those links down in the description below. Look, Coco's just taking a nap in the background. Do you like the new bedroom too? It's so nice you're not even laying in your own bed. You're up here. You wanna come here, say bye? All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us for this room transformation. And a big thanks to my partner, Sam, for his help and patience throughout this entire process. But that's about it for this bedroom transformation. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Key In By Design, and I will see you next time. Bye.